for some added security, you could force people to lock back in after X minutes of inactivity. An attacker can't take advantage of a CSRF vulnerability if the user isn't logged in. The downside to this is that you will annoy people if you force them to log back in every time they visit. Personally, I wouldn't implement this approach, for example, for regular users on a community site, because there is not much damage they can do. On those kinds of sites, you might want to limit this to staff members who won't mind having to log back in if you explain to them why you are doing it, why you are doing it, and what kind of attack this prevents. With this approach, you you really want to weigh security concerns with ease of use of your site. Asking people for their password every time they perform a sensitive action is a great way to enhance the security of your site, but only if your site isn't vulnerable to XSS. This starts sounding familiar, doesn't it? Otherwise the attacker could just inject a piece of JavaScript code onto the page, change the form, and have the password sent to himself. If you want to get a bit more... Okay, let me try that again. If you want to get a bit more fancy with your security, you might want to consider separating your admins from your users. The fact is that attackers would be crazy to not target the site's admins because admins use a given site more than any other person and they have all the access. If the attacker targets a regular user on, let's say, a community site, all the attacker will be able to do is, is maybe post a comment. If the attacker targets an admin, the possibilities are much greater. If you choose this approach, you have to force your admins to use different credentials when they access the admin control panel and when they access the public facing part of the website. If they are currently logged in as admin, don't allow them to see any part of the website, meaning the public facing part of the website. The admin will be at risk of an attack if they see any kind of user created content and or if there is any kind of access as vulnerability on, present on the site. The only downside to this approach is that it's a bit more is that it's a bit more work to implement. What you have to do is create two usernames and passwords for each admin and prevent them from seeing the public facing part of the website when they are logged in as admin. You could do the latter very easily if you include if you include one file in each PHP file and then run a check to determine whether the user is viewing the page as an admin. If so, you throw an error message. Now, relatively speaking, this is very little work when you consider the massive increase in security to your website. If you combine this approach with a policy that states that your admins aren't allowed to visit other websites while they are logged in as admins, and with the approach that they get logged out automatically after X minutes of inactivity, the possibility of your admins getting attacked successfully via CSRF is very remote. If you want to get even fancier, you would use random page names for all pages where users, where users or admins perform any kind of action other than information retrieval, posting a comment, rating a story, or things like that. What this means is that you would use this approach for pages where users change their address or password, where they check out the shopping cart, and so on. The point of this is that attackers can't take advantage of a CSRF vulnerability on a page that they can't access. Now how I would do this is to use Apache's mod rewrite module to redirect all calls to these pages to a central PHP file. There you could check which page is being accessed by whom and whether or not that person has access. You just have to make sure that there is no way to reliably guess the page names. You could use the same method we used earlier to create the tokens, for example. And one word of, of advice. Do not use this for every page of your website, otherwise no one will be able to arrive at your website at a page other than your home page, be it through search engines or through links on other people's sites. This is an extremely powerful approach, so I would definitely recommend you, you to at least consider implementing it, simply for the fact that, again, Attackers can't take advantage of vulnerabilities when they can't even access the page. The danger that XSS and CSRF-based attacks pose 
make it very clear that no user supplied input on the web can ever be trusted even when you think that you even when you think that the user is your best friend who has verified his identity through inputting his password you may trust him implicitly but it may just be an attacker who right now it took advantage of a CSRF vulnerability on your site and just deleted your account. As always, please feel free to contact me at arne at ahamethod.com if you have any kind of question or comment regarding this course. Next up is part 4, where I'll show you how you can use the principles discussed up until now to find weaknesses in websites.